and see. Wow, check this out. There'd be a million birds there, the whole... Look at that! Oh, oh no! This mum thinks she's still got an egg, but there's a baby underneath it. <laughs> this is just incredible, hey? And we're in search of the craziest fish in the ocean. Oh, look at this! Oh, my God! After an eventful night surrounded by nesting turtles and not much sleep for us, we're up early to give ourselves the best chance of catching a big fish. Tuna for the past three months, they have been eluding us, but I guess that is the drawer of the doggies. They're so damn hard to find and to get. But we're going to be travelling through some areas today which, uh, you know, look likely on the charts, so fingers crossed we can find them. Yep. And man, it'd be amazing if we could catch one because they're just oh, such a great catch. It's so beautiful to eat, hey? Yeah, and subscribe and come No, 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 actually. Let's go get these damn doggies. Oh man, look at that! Well, I guess I could see it back. Spanish mackerel! Whoa, look at all those dories! Whoa! Wait, are you watching the show? Yeah! The show? Yeah, come watch with us! These small bait fish are good signs. Cool. Oh, look, sea turtle. sea turtle. Oh, man, I want to swim with one of those so bad. Big cool trout. I can't wait to go there watching. Barracuda are also attracted to this thing that they're putting down. Well, that barracuda has really sharp teeth. Like mm -hmm. a sword. Yeah, it does. It looks like a swordfish. Mm -hmm. No, fish fish is taking a good dive. Let's see what happens to the float. Swordfish is all get pulled. Then I'm gonna have to run. So I'm excited. Stop pushing me. Stop pushing me, Penny. You're pushing me. Pushing me. Okay. Okay. Go yeah. crawl. Ah. Oh, spear fishing. Oh, is they gonna get it? Yeah. Oh, boom! He got it! And the spear is attached to a set of floats. Whoa, that's cool. Well, the diver holds their breath and kicks it to the surface because it's so deep. The floats are going to allow them to catch it. Looks like the floats are getting pulled quite deep. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. I think we're on, guys. Look at the boat going. Come on. Quick. That's so cool. So she's driving the ship to go. Because it was really deep. Whoa, he's holding his breath for so long. This is like you guys with huff coughs. You know, you have to go, or uh, your. <clears throat> when you do your PFTs, you guys would be really good at diving deep. Because they do training like you guys do at PFTs. Did you know that? He made it. Those things are going to help them catch the fish. The fish needs to be pulled up before the sharks arrive. Oh, because the sharks will eat their food. Come on, come on, come on. They actually get to see the spearfish. Isn't that awesome? We should do that on our channel. Don't you think? Only one. 
I think they've done that. Seven like, Way more times. Oh, yeah. Oh. We'd have to find, maybe we can ask them to teach us how to spearfish. We should go to Australia, guys. That's where this is happening. The Great Barrier Reef. You don't want to go to another country? Somebody. Oh, look. There it is. That's silver. Yeah, isn't that pretty? It's huge. It's actually bloody. Uh-huh. Oh, and you've got it. And you've got it. And that blood, yes. sharks can sense that yes. blood from way far away. So the... And so he actually... Wow, that's... So what kind of fish is this? A big tuna? Look at that gigantic tuna! Yeah. Got a dog tuna and his favorite fish. One fish. Dog tuna. To to I really got my hopes up. He's pretty shy. Um, and he kept swimming off, kept swimming off. I didn't think I'd get a chance at him, but this was him. We're gonna eat well for him for a couple of days. Sashimi. Sashimi is uncooked fish. They don't even have to cook it. Did you know you guys have had sashimi? Remember when we went to Sakura for your make a wish? You had it then. So we're going to start cruising south, making the most of this good weather. Yeah, it's sushi. Hopefully it's finding Remember when we had sushi? Yeah. That's we're that fish. Some pretty it's epic fish. locations. Yep, really it's raw fish. And, and that's what they're going to have. We'll see what we can find along the way. Mm -hmm. Now, from the charts, this spot here looks pretty incredible, hey? Oh, man. So, pretty lucky to have... I just want to get a little boat and go out on the water with you guys. Like vertical drop-off. Yeah, just drops vertically down to like hundreds and then thousands of meters. Self-driving motorboat? Yeah. So we're gonna jump in with a mask and snorkel camera and just see what's hanging out here. You wanna be in the shallows? And we even if we were in the deep we'd have life vests on. Pretty excited for it. Oh. Yeah. Football or coral trout. Look at that, it's beautiful. This well, 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 well. What if the well, sometimes the giant trevally come up and nibble your toes? Yeah. Like, nibble, nibble, nibble. Well, clownfish they dwell in anemone, and those are I don't see any in anemone. Anemone, they're those like do you, do you remember what an anemone look like? Playing nibble. It's the kind of cool organism that is on lives on the coral reefs. Yeah. Yeah. What about finding Yeah, Dory. There's lots of Dory's. Wow, look at all those fish. Wait, I And you know what the cool thing is, is it's just so quiet. Wait, what? The original Finding Nemo? We have to watch that. You've seen the second one, but you haven't seen the first one? We're going to see the first one. Holy moly. Have a look and listen to where we've just arrived at. Oh, it's a smelly island because there's a bunch of birds there. Wow. We thought we were immersed in nature last smelly? night. Check this out. There'd be a million birds there. The whole... Look at that. This is just incredible, hey? Look at them. What's that brown stuff on the beach? I don't reckon they get too many visitors out here. They're all coming to check it Brown out. stuff? Wow. It's like some sort of plant. Special, eh? Smells really What's bad, though. Oh, this anchorage is unreal. The water is crystal clear, so we're gonna jump in and check it out. Nice. Good job, eh? Let's see what we can find. Oh, we can find the fish. Oh, we can find 
Wouldn't you like to just swim like that, guys? And swim with jellyfish? You don't touch them, you don't have to touch them. <gasps> Look at that cool turtle! Yeah. You can actually put them on your goggles. On your, yeah, snorkeling goggles. This is amazing. There's so many turtles here. And then there's birds flying over the top of our heads. Incredible, eh? They're such good swimmers. You guys are good swimmers, too. You can stay underwater for five seconds. That's pretty good. That's what these guys started out with too. And we'll gradually work that up to six seconds. You wanna go swimming right now? Yeah, it's the swimming pool's closed today. I know. I know. It was sad because we weren't able to swim because we were sick. We had Bowel problems. What about other pools? Now that we're feeling better, I don't know of any pools that are open today, to be honest. But tomorrow, what if we did something tomorrow? What an amazing snorkel, eh? So many big turtles. Like yeah, after school, maybe. To come up and, nest. and so many big coral trout as well. Like, that's the sign of a really healthy reef when there's a lot of coral trout because they're the first fish to get taken off when the when the reefs get over here yeah, in Australia. Yeah, me too. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's go ashore and have a bit of an explore. You know what? Um, Mom was thinking of going to Lagoon. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, Evie touched us. Oh, is Evie gonna come? Yeah. What? That's awesome. Wow, that'll be so fun to see all those guys. Wow, look at all those birds. You are a wildlife documentary, Strick. Wait. Is that an AI of David Attenborough, or is that the David Attenborough that just said that? We see him at times swimming through and literally scaring sharks out of the way. So these guys are top dogs. Have a go at the set of teeth on them. Crazy, crazy set of teeth. And one of the hints why they're so hard to Do you think that that was really David Attenborough, the, our favorite narrator for our planet one and two? No offense to Gordon Weaver, you're good too. I don't know why there were two. We had both versions. We enjoy both. Somebody would be really cool if that was actually. Look at that! See, that's the meat. You remember the color of the sashimi that we ate? That was it. That was that. Yeah, that's the fish that that comes from. You've eaten that. And guess what? Every time you eat a tuna fish sandwich, Lou, that's the same. Did you know that typically there's another episode that comes out today? This is the one that came out last week. We were a little behind because we got sick. And we'll save that for later tonight to watch. <gasps> She's gonna give. Oh, she's pretty rough with these. She reminds me of getting my wisdom teeth out. She's pulling out the dog tooth tuna's teeth as gifts for Christmas gifts for her friends. Alrighty, let's go for a bit. Isn't that funny? Have an explore around this little sand cave. Because they can't have teeth in their food. 
Yeah, we should pull Maybe's tooth out that's loose and give it to somebody for Christmas. I was just joking. Well, look at that. It's an albatross. Or, It's not an albatross, it's like a blue something, blue. There's a few obviously different species. We'll try and get up a little bit closer and get some footage. What do you think? Yeah, brown plant. The brown on the ground, you don't like it? It's like grass, some sort of grass, grassy thing. Look how fluorescent green they're... And, and then there's some which are in that kind of almost awkward teenage days where they're not quite sure what colour to wear, they're not quite sure what to do with their hair. We've all been there, even Fran had a bit of a punk phase back in the day. And then there's some which uh, are at the stage that they look like they're ready to... We should get your hair cut, cut like that, girl. No. What? <laughs> do you guys want to colour your hair pink or purple? Oh, nice. Get ready for that. What, what color should mine be? Blue. No color. Bald. Green. Green. Okay. I didn't see you on you in the morning. Very good. Five out of five. Five out of five. Five out of five for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's the hardest. Wow, he's really good at. They're both really good at tracking those things down and actually getting one. That was really impressive. They worked hard, too. We rate Stricken Fran's effort 5 out of 5. This episode was excellent. find a prime spot to, to nest tonight. Pretty amazing backdrop with the turtles in the foreground and then all the birds behind them. We're just going to stay down the, the front beach here, keep it pretty quiet, and let them go about their business up there. Behind the... So cool. When are you going to make me that, maybe? Never. Never? Why not? Because it's too hard to make. It's too hard to make? It does look pretty involved. I like the fry. Or they're searing it. Or they're breaded. Those are huge steaks. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That looks delicious. I want to eat it. Oh, there's a shark coming up. Wants to eat some of the guts. I bet that they... They'll feed it. Yeah, they'll feed little scrap pieces. Oh, oh is that a nurse shark? Thank you. Might be a nurse shark. Yeah. Or a bull shark. That's a nurse shark. Is it? Yeah. It said? Oh, look, yeah, they put the carcass. Yeah, for a friend. Right there. Okay, now we rate the meta tastiness based on vicariously tasting something through the TV. 
I get that. Five out of four out of four point five out of five sure because Penny it's likes every probably better in the whole really. I'm sure Penny likes every food in the whole entire world. Yeah, Penny wants some. Hey, they're expressing gravity gratitude. Just like at the end of your videos, you guys say thank you and stuff. How's it look from your angle, friend? I must have taken like hundreds of insane shots. It's getting better and better. Let's sunset out there. Wow. Epic. Hey, we could go to Patreon and give them some food for gas. Or some money for gas. So what that's set up. I don't know how to do that either. Wait, what was this one? Oh, that's next time.